Everyone, today is the day. Today is finally the day it happened. Finally, a video worth talking about. Tier Zoo has put out his most ambitious video yet. It is the insect tier list. There are so many of these little guys, and he has taken the liberty of tearing them all. Let's go on a journey together and find out what the best bug is. Oh my god, it's number five on trending. Let's go, dude. I love Tier Zoo. That's my guy. Oh, so you like tier lists, huh? I know some games with lots of tiers, and you can find them in the Arc System Works Black Friday sale. Oh, it's damn true. One of the biggest game companies on the planet is now having one of the best Black Friday sales you're liable to find this year. And this isn't is just any game company, okay? I'm talking about Arc System Works. That's right, Arc System Works is having a huge Black Friday sale, and it's so big it even extends to their latest game, DNF Duel. All you have to do is go into any major physical retailer and ask for a copy of DNF Duel, and you're going to find yourself a nice sale price. Don't want to get physical? Don't want to go outside your house? Okay, geek. How about something digital? The Guilty Gear Strive Season 1 Pass is now available for 15% off on Steam and PlayStation Store. So many characters and different playstyles that you didn't have the chance to experience before. Now you can pick up Strive and the Season Pass at a steep discount. Oh, but Coney, I don't want to play the new stuff. I'm a hipster bozo. Okay, how about one of the most legendary catalogs of games, fighting or otherwise, that you've ever seen? They've got stuff like Blaze Blue, Central Fiction, Blaze Blue, Cross Tag Battle, Guilty Gear, XX, Accent Core, Plus R, Undernight, Inbirth, EXE, Late CLR, and River City Girls. I like River City Girls. It's not a fighting game. It's very fun, though. It's like a beat em up like the Old River City Ransom. You're going to want to take advantage of this sale as soon as possible, but you don't have much time. The day this video is uploaded, November 18th, is when the sale starts, and it ends on November 29th. You got 11 days to pick out some great games from a legendary developer. Check out the link in the description or the pinned comment to check out the catalog today. There's so much stuff on sale. You're going to find something for yourself. Pick up something for you, maybe a couple games, and maybe one for a loved one, I guess. Intimidate your friends by sending them fighting game gifts. I bet they're going to love it. Check out the Arc System Works Black Friday sale happening right now. I hate bugs, by the way. This this might be a tough watch. I'll be keeping things fairly generalized. That is not normally. I'm told many of the groups I'll be discussing today have so many standout members that they could easily be Ew. an entire tier list in and of themselves. Oh, we're doing so like. A tough to pin down their oh, we're actions. doing like umbrellas. Hell yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Bottom is who's the worst insect? A worm. Is a worm an insect? <laughs> it's a bug. <laughs> For a more in-depth look, let's get into the. Tier it's list. a worm. What? At the bottom of the tier list, we have the silverfish. The silverfish is the most primitive insect build still in existence, unlike other flightless insects, which decided to respec and drop the flight ability in favor of more refined strategies. The silverfish build actually never had access to it in the Fuck first place. Fuck these things? What? Aside silverfish? From exoskeleton, they don't really have any of the abilities I've never that even make heard of these. Powerful. They have fairly low defenses and get bodied left and right by pretty much everything. With their only Bro, that useful stat being their decently high movement speed. Dude, if I saw that, I would just be like, that's a bug. <laughs> I would not know what to call that. It's like an earwig. You guys ever see an earwig and you're like, what the fuck is that? It's just a bug. Dude, I once... I'm gonna tell you guys this. This is true. I once had an earwig in here. Scariest moment of my life. They're called earwigs. Because there's a whole thing about them crawling into your ear and laying eggs. It's not true, but I think that's why they're called that. Because it's like a, a myth or something. Is it not? No, they don't do that. Unless one of them... Yeah, one of them might be piloting my brain. <laughs> I'm being ratatouille by an earwig. Next in D tier, we have the Lepidopterans. The faction which includes moths, butterflies, and skippers. At first glance, these may seem like absolute bottom tier builds. They're among yeah, they the most vulnerable fight. builds in the game when it comes to combat. And they with die in the rain. With defensive stats and utterly abysmal offensive abilities. However, the Lepid player base is quite crafty and has come up with a few ways of at least sort of mitigating their many weaknesses. Caterpillars okay. and adult Lepids alike can adopt quite convincing disguises. Some designed to help them blend in and some designed to intimidate. Yo! That's cool. I didn't know they could do that. I'm scared. That's so cool. Granted, these strategies... Oh, never mind. It didn't work. <laughs> that bird would eat a snake, too. That bird just got a bonus. I hate moths. I don't like any bug that's hairy. This is gross. He has, like, a a, a, a mane. And what is this? He's, like, Rico... Oh, this is a Hollow Knight guy. 
I think I fought this dude in Hollow Knight. I beat his ass. I want to be a moth. Why would you want to be a moth when you could be a butterfly? Because moths are cooler. Literally, why, ugly ass? <laughs> How do, what do you mean? He's like hairy, and he's like, he. I don't like this. I, I'm, a, I'm a butterfly guy. Also just make them look much larger than insects of comparable body sizes, which helps dissuade it. You ever see a big ass moth? <laughs> Every summer? Is a giant moth that comes outside my door, and that shit is terrifying. He goes, <laughs> I feel the earth shift. <laughs> Boom! The we have the cockroach. While they don't pack much heat, their flat shape allows them to easily wedge themselves into locations that are extremely difficult for other players to attack them in. They're rather clumsy flyers, but they do have an above average ground movement. Cockroaches can fly? I didn't know that. I thought that was a different bug. All of them? Or just like a couple? <laughs> Can they all fly? They prefer not to, but they can in emergencies. Enabling them to quickly scurry to cover if they see a predator player Okay, that shit, his ass is not flying. You can't support that. Those wings are too tiny. No, his no, ass is not flying. <laughs> you call that flying? Cover if they see a predator Bro, it's Buzz Lightyear. He's just falling with style. However, when caught out in the open or shit backed into a corner, they're fairly helpless and easily one of the most vulnerable builds in the entire insect faction. The biggest variants may be able to tank one or two hits, but even then, with no way to fight back, they're still pretty screwed if they fail to outright escape a fight. Yeah, what do cockroaches do to fight? Ew! 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 <laughs> I hate them! Get out! They don't even do anything. They just look gross. Next in C tier, we have the earwig. A fearsome looking generalist build, which appears to have a giant pair of mandibles on its rear end. But it doesn't. Cersei. As fearsome as these Cersei Shit forceps don't do are, anything. if we actually check the Earwig's base stats, we quickly notice that, just like all of its other stats, its power stat is actually quite mediocre. Oh, pussy. As menacing as the Cersei are, the actual piercing damage they can deal is fairly minimal, and can even be deflected oh, by the most basic Oh, he's fighting? Oh my god, it's a bad scorpion. <laughs> Still, just because they be can mug. doesn't mean they do, as the Earwig's intimidation factor alone is oftentimes Ooh. enough to protect it from conflict. Well, pop. And credit where credit is due, the forceps are actually fairly decent in matchups against soft <laughs> insects and allow the Feel to carry sting. their targets much Oh, he's talking shit. <laughs> better than they could with their jaws. And while it may Yo, seem what? So Wait a hurt, minute. He grabbed him and then he ate him? He's just holding him with his ass and ripping off his limbs. Jesus Christ. Insects are horrifying. Earwigs need to actually have the ability to back up their threat display. Yeah, he, they would his, do well to spec into some. They sort can't of fight each other. They Venom would just like do circles. Are a fairly common attribute. <laughs> they for turn insects. into a wheel. So this feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. So while certainly a viable mid tier, don't overestimate this build's ability. It's a mid off. I like these. These are the first mobility centric builds on our list. That shit was strong in Bugs Life though. Flyers, their true power comes from their saltatorial hind legs rather than their wings. Saltatorial. And so instead of using their wings to get themselves up into the air, oh his ass a is powerful jumping. jump enables the Arthopteran mains to escape vertically at instant speed. Their excellent vision makes it extremely difficult to get within striking range without <laughs> alerting them. And because their jump has such excellent turn around, it, landing an turn around, can turn around, turn around, yo, <laughs> what the fuck, bro? How many frames was that? No, <laughs> bro, this is one frame. What the fuck? Oh hell no, grasshopper disappear. <laughs> oh my god, I I'd be mad as hell, bro. If I'm this whatever the hell is spider. If I'm that dude and I'm like, all right, I've been creeping on this dude for eight hours and finally it's time to eat. And bro just hit the... You? <laughs> you can still see his shadow. Oh my god. Grasshoppers can jump so far that there's really no way of knowing what sort of situation you? they're about to put themselves in. In a similar manner to the flying fish, using such a drastic escape option can sometimes end up putting you in a worse position than you were before. Especially if your local meta has a lot of spider players, and although they do present a challenge, most predator players aren't disrupted by the grasshopper's kicks. Who set this up? Why am I watching a bug fight? <laughs> this isn't in nature. This is just like a really, uh, really high-end Gary's mod. At the bottom of B tier, True we bugs. have the Hemipterans, a diverse order of insects with a few things in common, including generally having high defense and Other ones weren't real. <laughs> Bro, these bugs didn't exist until like 
2014. Am I crazy? I never saw one of these motherfuckers until like eight years ago. These things got added late in the game. These are brand new invasive species. Get the, get get them out of here, bro. Some do break this trend though and opt for both better camouflage and high aquatic mobility, <laughs> making them some of the most fierce. Oh, hell no, nah, I'm upside down. Game. Bro, what kind of bug is that? That's a big frog. Water bug, also known as a toe biter. What? Ew, I've never seen these. Oh my god, they're huge! Ow! Bugs are aliens, bro. Similar to some phasmids, which is where they get the name stink bugs from. <laughs> However, similar to phasmids, these defenses also- which is I fucking love this guy. Is where they get the name stink bugs from. How did he do- I, Again, I've never had that happen. I don't even know what they smell like. You aren't intimidating. <laughs> I'm gonna mean mug a stink bug next time I say. <laughs> only B? Tier, we have a personal oh, favorite of mine. Still only Mantis. A? Mantis I thought that show was higher. Straightforward playstyle consisting of slashing and grabbing their targets Pop! using powerful spiked raptorial forelimbs. How come they got like light bulb eyes? Like where is where is the eyeball here? 360 vision. Oh, I see. They got the red. I see. They can see through the thing. Favorite of mine. Damn, that must be nice. How if do you lose if you can see stats, everywhere? We see the do bugs sleep? Do fish sleep? Look at a video of bees when you turn off the lights. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> turn that shit off. It also has a stealth stat similar to that of a walking stick, which it desperately needs in order to be Wait. able to get within striking range of its targets. They could be brown? It's clumsy flight and slow ground. I only seen green. He can fly? Basically impossible. No, he can't. However, what they lack in movement speed, they easily make up for They keep adding new speed. shit. As powerful as these strikes are, one weakness of the strategy is that the grappling attack doesn't immobilize the target. Bro, he hated that. He did a fucking... He got actually stunned. The weakness of the strategy is that the grappling ah! attack doesn't... It's like in a cartoon when you have two, like, trash can lids and you, like, smash them on somebody's head. Oh my god, dude. He got blasted. Boo! Boo! I hate these fucking things. Get out of my house! Motherfucker comes in in September. Fat as shit. Boo! True flies only have two wings. This might seem like a major trade-off, but while it does leave them more vulnerable to having their they fight high mobility disabled though. from taking damage, the perk they unlock in return is more than worth the risk. Flies swap them out for halteers. A sensory structure that what? grants flies an insanely powerful buff to their aerial maneuverability and their evasion. And also enables predator fly variants, such as the robber fly, to launch incredibly precise attacks mid-flight. And take down targets that would normally be too powerful to confront head-on. I don't, I don't, none of this is gonna win me. I don't fucking like flies. But while flies are excellent aerial combatants, they are no match for the ultimate aerial hunter build. The dragonfly is similar to the crocodile in that it is one of the most well-optimized mm. PvP builds that has ever existed in the game. Why do you guys like dragonflies? The fuck? Dragonflies are sick. I hate them. It's a Pokemon. Oh, that's why you like them. You fucking geeks. So what is it about the dragonfly that has given it such a competitive edge? Dragonflies have the best aerial maneuverability of any build in the game and the highest top flight speed of any insect. I just think nobody's trying to hurt him. That duck is not going to eat him. <laughs> Unlike they don't care. most insects, dragonflies have specced into the ability to move their wings independently of each other, which grants them the Why is he annoying them? Any Actually, what is he doing? Face that direction. This dude's pissing Meaning me like off. Eat him. Eat him. Get him. And even fly backwards. Why this is he doing makes that? Their flight, while everyone knows they dominate the skies when they reach their max level, what you might not know is that as nymphs, dragonflies are one of the most vicious aquatic builds in the game, able to one-shot similarly sized fish and amphibian players. Cool, man. You kill the tadpole. That's not... That's not great. Like, he just... It's its a fucking pre-frog spawn kill, yeah. While they are generally able to see approaching Damn. predators... That sucks. <laughs> this dude is fucked up. Like, he's, like, spread out. It's not even just one wing. It's, Before it's too late. That's hell. They're particularly good at avoiding accidentally flying Jeez. into dangerous situations. Dragonflies have a 97% success rate when hunting. According to who? Where are you getting these fucking stats? Who's tracking this? It's an ESPN for, for, for dragonflies? Hell yeah, that's my third. I fucking love beetles. First in S tier, we have the beetle. 
the beetle is the epitome of the insect build. That shit a go bunch crazy. of extraordinarily powerful abilities that seem like they shouldn't really His function ass is properly walking. when used in conjunction with each the other. King. Yet somehow actually end up synergizing unbelievably well. Now, typically when a build is heavily invested into defenses like this, Eat em, bro. it has to make a lot of Eat sacrifices it. in its other stats. This is the opposite of what we see in the beetle build as in addition to being the most heavily armored insect in the game, it also excels in several other metrics. What are June bugs? I don't even know what they are. Is that like another word for something? They're beetles, okay. <laughs> the most obvious of All which right. is its power stat. I don't think I've ever seen Beetles one. can obliterate their enemies in combat using powerful jaws and explosive chemical weapons. Chemical their weapons? To bulldoze opponents with their forward-facing weaponry is Bro, got mustard gas? But in my opinion, their real damage That's potential comes from beetles tail. which possess the ability to blast their attackers with a toxic or acidic chemical burst. Bro, what the fuck? I didn't know they had that. Bro is spraying. <laughs> when they start curling up like this, you gotta run, bro. Their real when they start damage curling up. <laughs> He's spraying himself, too. That's how he knows he wants you to die. <laughs> Queen, save me! Despite often having heavy horns or giant mandibles, you? packing a tank full of noxious chemicals, being clad in heavy armor, I'm a beetle, and strapped bro. with enough muscle to move on. I'm not that beetle, though. I'm not this beetle. I don't like that guy. That's not me. <laughs> That's not me. I am a noble, strong, big beetle with a rhino horn. That's my fursona. I'm not this motherfucker. He's too agile. I'm not agile. He's like, uh, he's like doing a handstand and kicking with his back legs. That's not me. The beetle is still able to fly without much issue. Now, they did sacrifice one of their sets of wings for additional armor, so they can't perform the advanced aerobatics that dragonflies and houseflies can. Who cares, but the ability bro? to get from point Fuck A to point B via fly. flight is still... <laughs> Somebody's just gonna be... Why does Connie hate dragonflies? In short, beetles have essentially every ability they could ask for. They are an amalgamation of everything that makes the insect faction so powerful. And so it's no surprise that beetle species comprise a whopping 25% of all species in the game. Ultimately, the beetle is still lacking the most powerful insect ability of them all. Eusociality. What? This wood-eating motherfucker? This guy? He got a big head. <laughs> Look how big his head is, bro. Wood meta? <laughs> Now, technically, termites are a variant of the cockroach build, but they? they have such a unique and powerful playstyle that lumping them in with mid-tier cockroaches seems disingenuous. Tirzu is just a termite in a meat suit. I think Tirzu is like Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas. He's just full of termites. If he ever gets a 10 out of 10 on one of his videos, he just, oh, and he just breaks apart. Termites can accurately fire acid from a needle-like horn on their face, <laughs> dealing heavy damage to anything caught in its blast. Ow. I love the ant doesn't like get off the branch. The ant's just like, ow, motherfucker. Ow, I'm, I'm gone now. <laughs> The termite doesn't know he's there anymore. He's like changing lanes on the highway. Fuck. Ow. Termites are a somewhat imbalanced build with crazy powerful forward face. Look how big his head is. Look at his head. It's you. No, it's not. I'm a beetle. Oftentimes, despite a larger size, they are quickly overwhelmed. He got a get big head, dude. Form. I can't take my Not eyes off an it. issue as termites are proficient at defending in a phalanx formation, which covers the weak points of individual members. Just so send the ants, bro. Not Show me the ants. To negate the top two Show me, send the ants. Sociality. Answer but number one. This does mean that I gotta give the top spot to the other you social send insect the faction. Ants. Yo, oh, that's cheating. What the fuck? <laughs> bro, you can't do this. Bro said, every bug. Every single bug, every other bug that exists, ants, bees, and wasps are number one. You cheating ass. The wasps' signature buzz and yellow banding are so infamous that almost every other insect faction in the game has at least a few members trying to replicate it to gain advantage on their own intimidation checks. <laughs> New social hymenopterans can build extremely complicated structures with tools. Who is his editor? I love his editor. Tools. They can launch organized attacks containing thousands of combatants. I guess he added that sound effect. Without the sound effect, it wouldn't have been like that. That shit was harrowing with the sound. Ants in particular are masters of both empire building and military tactics, often having military to wage war tactics? on multiple fronts while undertaking large construction and agricultural projects in their own territory. Real question, real question. And I swear to God, I, this is genuine. And none of you guys would fucking know this. Why am I asking this? We know that a lot of invention 
uh, takes inspiration from, you know, animals and bugs and things like that. We, we see what they do, and we kind of adopt it to technology. For, like, war strategy and, and general shit, do we, like, get tactics from ants? You guys don't know. Everybody that said no doesn't know, and everybody that said yes is lying. I don't... YouTube, comment below. <laughs> do, do, do we learn things from ants? What do you think? Comment below. Like, please. When it comes to waging wars, ants and humans have a lot in common. Yeah, but we don't know if they learned from us. Which and one came first? I don't base my I'm tier saying. lists purely off of population, there's no denying that the abundance of these insects is due to their incredibly powerful strategies and their ability to bend their environment to their advantage. In fact, the only genuine threats to you social players tend to be invaders disguising themselves as members of their own colony. There are James Bond spiders? I didn't know that. Bro is snuck in. I, I guess if, if ants, bees, and wasps are on the same team, you know, he talked mostly about ants. <laughs> uh, I, I, this is supposed to be all three, but he's clearly favoring one. What's your favorite bug? Comment below. And also, hey, hey, really quick, you gotta subscribe to Tears you, bro. He's the best. He's the best. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. D click off this video, drop a like, subscribe, and go subscribe to Tears you. That's my fucking boy. I love Tier Zoo, and you should too. Thanks for watching. Uh, I don't care if you subscribe. I'm already on 100K. You have no power over me. Sorry. I'll see you at 200K in like five years. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye, YouTube. Bye. Oh, don't ask about why the lighting is weird. I, I, I unplugged the cable, and I think it got kind of Sorry. <laughs> oh, no, they can unsubscribe. I forgot you could do that.